Animal X investigates the weird world of animal mystery. Egypt, a place of ancient mysteries. Its carvings and powerful monuments hold the secrets of our past from the beginning of recorded time. Now this land of myth and legend is gripped by a new mystery. One of a terrifying beast, reported to have injured dozens of people in ferocious nighttime attacks. Its name, the Salawa, or female ghoul. Animal X went to the banks of the Nile and Cairo to speak to the victims of this bizarre stalker. We traveled by road to the district of Quatamia, some 38 kilometers away. Surrounded by desert, the township is extremely isolated. Its residents live in impoverished conditions. They carry the scars of their encounter with the Salawa, a creature described as looking like a dog or wolf, but with supernatural powers. This young girl saw the animal eating garbage on a street. Without provocation, it turned, ran over, and attacked her. This boy was standing outside watching his father work on a car. He says a strange creature appeared from out of nowhere and bit him on the leg. And this woman tells how her nephew was attacked. He was walking to a local shop when he encountered an odd-looking beast. It bit him on the face and he was rushed to hospital. Putting together an accurate description of the Salawa is difficult. Witness accounts vary. Some say it's black and white, others black and brown. However, many agree it looks out of proportion, with longer legs at the front or back, and it has an elongated snout. No one knows why it attacks with such ferocity and for no apparent reason. Victims have described how the animal has the ability to jump high in the air and even change shape ghostly qualities which reflect its local title, female ghoul. So where does a creature like this come from? Could it possibly have paranormal powers? Those who've delved into Egyptian mythology believe the Salawa may have been around before, thousands of years ago. Dr. Mohammed Salah links it to the ancient god of evil, Saith, who, like the Salawa, is capable of changing form. This is the god of fear, the god of uh, rage, the god of, um, uh, of uh, confusion, the god of uh, evil, and so on. And uh, I think this had uh, uh, been uh, preserved in the minds of the Egyptians, especially outside of uh, the big towns and cities, uh, in this form. And so when they saw it, they called Salawa. There is another prevailing theory, that the Salawa is a modern-day version of this mythical animal, the jackal-headed god Anubis. Not only does it fit some descriptions of the Salawa, it has eerie connections with death and the afterlife. As the god of embalming, Anubis would inhabit ancient tombs, protecting the dead. This is a rare photograph of what's thought to be a Salawa beast killed in the town of Armant, 300 kilometers south of Cairo. Police tracked it down after it attacked dozens of people. They have their own theories. The Cairo police chief says, in his opinion, the Salawa is a rabid dog bred with hyenas or jackals. It has long legs because it is adapted to the desert conditions, and an elongated snout means it can search for food in difficult places. While authorities have been quick to dismiss villagers' superstitions, 
They have taken the beast very seriously. In Quatamia, a task force was organized after 23 people were attacked in just two weeks. Police advised terrified residents to stay indoors while they search the area. While officers waited, guns at the ready, the Salawa was on the hunt for another victim, this time not on the street, but inside one of the villagers' homes. Its target, the Mohammed family, who ironically had done what the police had said and stayed indoors. The mother, Nadia, says it was about 11 o'clock when she heard something at the front door and went to investigate. Nadia says the beast looked like a ghost. It appeared to have no bones in its body. It was able to jump high in the air and was terrifying. When she tried to push it back out the front door, it elongated like elastic. What followed was a terrifying ordeal. After attacking Nadia, the beast went for her daughter, Sayeda, then her two other children. Eventually, Nadia and Sayeda managed to stun the animal by hitting it repeatedly over the head with a plank of wood. Sayeda says when her father came home, he insisted they finish the animal off. He got a rock and hit it over the head, but incredibly, the beast's bones would not break. The family then took the Salawa outside and tried to burn it. They drenched it in gasoline and waited. Four hours later, its flesh still hadn't burned. Officers came and took the animal's body away for forensic examination, authorities announcing that was the end of the matter. But is it? They admit they cannot honestly say how many more of these creatures exist and where they'll strike next. Often a weird animal appears evil and an encounter may have tragic results. It's said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. This is the god of fear, rage, and confusion. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.